right in here is the main generator. The diesel engine itself, its primary duty is to, to turn that main generator, to provide electricity to the traction motors that turn the wheels. Um, the main generator puts out enough electricity to probably power a small pump. Um, the turbocharger is up in here, and then Directly, the main gen is directly connected to a 16 cylinder cycle diesel engine. Um, it's not built at all like an automobile engine. <laughs> the part that you're looking at is actually more or less a frame. And inside that frame is 16 individual power assemblies. Power assembly consists of a liner with a head on top of it, and inside is a piston and a rod. So, if we have something go wrong inside of an individual power assembly, like for example, a piston goes bad or a rod is bent or something like that, all we do is open up this top deck cover, um, take the hold downs off the power assembly, disconnect the rod, disconnect the water jumpers and stuff like that for the cooling. We take a forklift with a fixture, we lift the power assembly out, put a new power assembly in, hook it all up, do the timing and everything on it, and then it's back on the road. It takes two experienced guys about four hours to do it. So it's a quick fix. It's a good, it's a, it's a good design. Um, this is probably one of the most robust diesel engines that EMD ever made. Um, they don't all only put them in locomotives, they put them in um, stationary power systems, also marine applications. Um, these things will run with broken crankshafts. So it's a very robust engine. It's easy to work on, it's mechanically injected. Um, it's just a great, great diesel engine. Not necessarily um, efficient, let's say, as compared to new electronically controlled ones, but damn, these things will run forever. So, on the front side of the diesel engine, there's a drive shaft that comes off the front that goes back to the air compressor back here. The air compressor provides air to the locomotive for the primarily the air brakes, um, but a couple other auxiliary systems like the windshield wipers and stuff, the cabs and stuff like that. Um, and that's all, those are the major components of up here on the locomotive. Um, down below, you can look, kind of see inside, inside the traction motors that the wheel sets are housed in are damn big too. They're they're like 7,800 pounds each. Um, well, they are a great big direct current motor. All our locomotives are direct current. We don't, except for our, the two MPs, we still have their alternating current. But, uh, Direct current works very well for us for our application. So the big tank is the fuel tank. It's on this 